and welcome to this special edition of Sports Monday. I am Paul Lopez. It was a weekend of celebration in sports for Belizeans near and far. We begin tonight's coverage with the 93rd running of the Holy Saturday Cross Country Cycling Classic. Well folks, if you have not already heard, the garland is back where it belongs, home in Belize. Yes, it was a spectacular race. Just before 6 a.m. on Holy Thursday, 111 riders geared up at the starting line over at the DigiPark in Belize City for the grueling 140-mile race. On the hour, at the sound of the trumpet, the riders got on their way towards San Ignacio Town. 20 minutes into the race, just outside of Hattieville, four riders created a gap between the main peloton of riders. They were Belize's Eric Trapp, Justin Williams, Henry Lee, and American Ian McDonald. In front of the Belize Zoo, just outside of Mahogany Heights Village, the gap increased to one minute as the four lead riders had their eyes set on San Ignacio Town. One hour and six minutes into the race, a group of cyclists from the main peloton launched an attack to close the gap. Among them were Oscar Kiros, Giovanni Lovell, Carlton Robinson, Brandon Catus, Wasani Castro, Giovanni Chota, and Byron Pope. Folks, that attack at mile 31 would change the course of the race. Leaving St. Martin's Village, Corey Williams, Justin Williams, Ian McDonald, Oscar Kiros, and Jonathan Brown broke away and took charge of the race, riding at a pace of 32 miles per hour. Excitement from cycling enthusiasts grew as the four riders headed into Santa Elena town and onto the Lalumalus Boulevard with a 4 minute and 30 second lead. Heading back to Belize City, just outside of Ontario Village, it was now three cyclists leading the pack. Jonathan Brown, Corey Williams, and Oscar Kiros. They had created an almost five-minute gap between themselves and the main peloton. Moving into Hatteville, it had now become clear that the winner would come from these three lead riders. All three rode into Belize City together. Three miles from the finish line, Belize and Oscar Kiros launched a surprise attack from behind Williams and Brown. The other two riders got off their seats and attempted to respond, but quickly thereafter, they returned to their seated position while Oscar Kiros rode off into the distance. At the Digi Park, the 2023 Holy Saturday Cross Country Champion Oscar Kiros rode across the finish line to the deafening sound of fans cheering him on. He threw up his hands in sweet victory as cheers grew louder. Kiros was followed by Corey Williams in second place and Jonathan Brown in third place. We spoke with all three riders following the race. It's totally overwhelming. I think at this point it's still haven't you know, synced in yet. And, um, you know, I dreamt about this moment for many years and I've never pictured myself getting first. I know I was always a contender and I mean, no, m most people that knew me for many years, I, I always say, you know, that I prepared as much as I could and, you know, by the end of the day, I've done my part. Yeah. Uh, and of course, you know, I feel like it's just up to the good Lord when he decides, hey, it's your turn, it's your turn. And you, it doesn't matter what, it's, if, it's, if it comes your way, it comes your way. I, I just, I don't, you just don't know when. And I mean, to, today he blessed me with one of the best feeling ever in my life, you know, in, in Belize. Um, yeah. You know, I don't know what to say. Yeah. Ah, this thing is just crazy. Many, many people don't understand how grueling the journey can be and you guys, you broke away with a group of uh, three others from early on in the race. Let's talk a bit about the challenge it, uh, or, or, or the, the will and, and the, the energy it took to keep up uh, and, and maintain that lead throughout this race. I mean, um, one thing that I changed earlier this year was um, the nutrition part. Um, you know, it, again, it never really guarantees you anything, but I know me and my teammate, Johnny Brown, um, which, yeah. which was in a break, um, he told me that, you know, you just have to make sure that you eat very good from very, very early on, be patient, and of course, if it comes their way, it comes their way, and, and I, I don't know what happened, you know, I didn't dream about it from when the break happened, but hey, it starts in a process, and I have to thank him very much, I have to thank Corey as well, Justin, you know, those guys made sure that the plan was for, for, the, for the Garland to stay here in Belize, if it wasn't me, it was going to be Corey, and you know, I'm just very, uh, very appreciative of how these guys, they support me. You know, they've, they've put me up in the next level. Well, yeah. <laughs> Here's the guy. Thanks, Good job, bro, man. Thanks. I tried, man. I tried. You know, Corey and the guys, you know, they really gave me this opportunity to believe in myself a bit more here in Belize and outside. I mean, and, and from now on, you know, I, I, I just have to wait out to them and everybody else that support me, my family. Oscar's a really good rider, and that's why, you know, he's on the Miami Blazers, you know. <laughs> I knew it was going to be problems. I didn't really yeah. feel great today. And I was kind of hoping that he would wait around for the sprint, yeah. which I think I could have got him, but 
he was smart and he uh, just played his cards right. Then that sprint, did that catch you by surprise? Because I saw you got off your saddle for a little while and no. then you sat down back like, all right, I'll probably just go for second place. It didn't catch me by surprise. I was feeling bad most okay. of the day and I was kind of cramping for the last like 50 miles. Wow. So I figured once he got up, if he didn't go fast enough, I could probably get across. But once he went, my goal was just to make it to the line and not get caught by the people behind. Coming in, like, I haven't raced in the heat, so it was a little, it was a little brutal, but um, this was probably one of the coolest experiences I've ever had. I've um, raced all around the world, and people are so into cycling here, and it's awesome. And from an impressive victory by Oscar Quiroz to an outstanding performance by Belizean Dimitri Myers at the 50th Carifta Games held over the weekend in the Bahamas. Having qualified for the under-17 boys 1,500-meter finals, on Saturday morning, young Dimitri Myers went up against runners from across the Caribbean. The starting pistol went off and the race got underway. One minute and 14 seconds into the race, Myers broke away from the main pack of runners, maintaining a smooth pace. Two minutes and 50 seconds into the race, he doubled his lead as he headed into the final lap. With less than 150 meters to go, three minutes and 50 seconds into the race, Dimitri Myers sprinted to the finish line to secure his first goal of the tournament. On Sunday, young Dimitri Myers once again stood at the starting line, this time for the 3,000 meter race. Early into the race at 1 minute and 44 seconds, Myers took the lead. He clocked in the first 1,000 meter at 3 minutes and 3 seconds with a comfortable lead. Myers then continued to distance himself from the main group of runners as the race progressed, completing the second 1,000 meter in 3 minutes and 5 seconds. 8 minutes and 54 seconds into his run, Myers turned into the straightaway, overlapping three other runners for a final push to the finish line, securing his second gold medal. We spoke with Dimitri Myers and his coach Gregory Myers about this weekend's victories. A successful Carifty Games. Uh, we had some ups and some downs, just like any, any competition would go. But in comparison, if we're talking about progression, uh, we had a phenomenal uh uh outcome right we we came last year with one silver this year we come back with two golds the first gold ever in our history uh, so we cannot be upset with that in any way shape or form i say just as long as you stick to your training you're determined and you're passionate about your the sport track and field if you keep on going no matter if you if your event is on the field or on the track just stick to what you need to do, your daily routine every day. And when you get under the big lights, you perform at your 110%. Well, folks, that's all we have for you in tonight's coverage of Sports Monday. Until next time, be mindful that nature is the best playground. Go out and have some fun.